सबैलाई नमस्ते मार्टिन चौतारीको आजको यो रिसर्च सेमिनार सिरिजमा यहाँहरु सबै जनालाई स्वागत छ आजको छलफलको विषय रहेको छ मोडर्न कम्प्युटिङ साइन्स मिस एन्थ्रोपोलोजी भन्ने विषय रहेको छ र यो छलफलको लागि हामीसँग कृष्णराज भण्डारी हुनुहुन्छ कृष्णराज भण्डारी जीले युनिभर्सिटी अफ भाषा भाषा फिनल्यान्ड बाट पीएचडी गर्नु भएको छ त्यसैगरी उहाँ हाल युनिभर्सिटी अफ हेल्सिंकी फिनल्यान्डमा पोस्ट डक गरिरहनु भएको छ र उहाँको आर्टिकलहरु विभिन्न जर्नलहरुमा प्रकाशित भएका छन् आजको छलफललाई अगाडि बढाउन अघि चौतारीको अनाउन्समेन्टहरु बारे जानकारी गराउन चाहन्छु चौतारीको छलफल 22 फेब्रुअरी फागुन गत मंगलबार रहेको छ यो छलफल हेल्थ पोलिसी डिस्कसन सिरिज अन्तर्गत छ र उक्त छलफलको विषय रहेको छ नेपालमा चिकित्सकीय बहुलवादको सवाल र यो विषयमा डाक्टर बामदेव सुवेदी जीले बोल्दै हुनुहुन्छ र अर्को छलफल रहेको छ फागुन 22 अर्थात मार्च 6 मा आइतबार रहेको छ र उक्त छलफलको विषय रहेको छ रोल अफ कोअपरेटिभ्स इन पोभर्टी रिडक्सन इन प्रोभिन्स 1 एन्ड 2 बेसलाइन स्टडी भन्ने विषयमा सबिना सबिना बानिया र दीपेश कार्की जीले बोल्दै हुनुहुन्छ यो छलफलमा पनि यहाँहरुले सहभागिता जनाउन सक्नुहुनेछ यो छलफल सदाजै दुई चरणमा हुनेछ पहिलो चरणमा कृष्णराज जीले करिब 45 मिनेट समय सम्म आफ्नो प्रस्तुति दिनुहुनेछ र त्यसपछिको बाकी करिब 20 देखि 25 मिनेट सम्म हामी खुला छलफल गर्ने छौ खुला छलफलमा यहाँहरुले प्रश्न जिज्ञासा अथवा टिप्पणीहरु राख्न सक्नुहुनेछ त्यसको लागि चैट बक्सको प्रयोग गर्न सक्नुहुन्छ र फेसबुक लाइभ हेरिरहनु भएका सहभागीहरुले फेसबुकको कमेन्ट बक्समा लेख्न सक्नुहुनेछ अब भने म आफ्नो प्रस्तुतिलाई अगाडि बढाउनु हुन कृष्णराजजीलाई अनुरोध गर्छु ओके एम आई ऑडिबल uh, by the way, I was requested uh, to deliver this in English. Uh, of course, I can I speak in Nepali also. Um, uh, Professor, uh, I think he is here also. Um, so, may I use uh, mostly English and at some point Nepali also, sir? Yes, sir. I'm little by long regime upon a request. Gary, I think I'm little by a soda here. Top by long regime of Gorsu Bonova. Soon Basama Gorna Malasa, please, just a Gornus. Asra, thank you. All right. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to thank for this great opportunity, uh, to speak in front of this August gathering. Um, thank you very much, Pratisha and the team. And for start, while I'm warming up and starting, I have uh, made a quick survey uh, that you can fill up on the link here, so that I have some idea how, how I should position my presentation during these 45 hours. It takes five minutes. Just go to the link in the chat box, please, and then uh, fill up this survey. It will help me to deliver the need better because I don't know the audience. Of course, this is totally different domain than my own domain. I'm coming here just for the uh, for the purpose of sharing some latest uh, modern computing technologies that I have used in social science research and perhaps that might be interesting to this audience also. So let's try to have that quick survey while I'm setting up the slides here and then we'll go with the flow. And I can check in the in the, in the meantime. I can check the the uh, results coming in few minutes here, and I will get it very very fast. All right. So we already get, again. I can actually share share the screen, and then I can engage the audience at the same time. Also, while you are filling up, uh, the results are coming already. On the on the some of you have already done it. So we have some ideas on what needs to be done. So let's do this. Mm. Okay. One, one response has come already. So let's see. Very interesting to have this discussion to questions, quick questions. So please do that while you are doing I'm just showing my quick introduction here. Okay, so this is also to start with. 
Um, the modern computing science meets anthropology. Many of you know it. Uh, it has actually contributed into uh, not only in natural science, but also in social science research. And uh, as being an engineer, I started to use this computing science, computer science related technologies uh, and softwares and programs into my research. So that's the reason I am here to actually share my experience over 10 years uh, in Finland uh, on this research field. And then, uh, but one disclaimer is that I cannot cover in this 20 to 45 minutes the new measures development, new measurement techniques development based on this kind of methodology. I'm just using, showing you, demonstrating you what are the existing measures being developed by the professionals and the researchers and how we are actually using these methods into these uh, discourses. And um, just a disclaimer, another disclaimer, I'm not an anthropologist. I do research into business and economics and engineering or applied engineering side. So that is the uh, area. And we will be focusing on computer added text analysis as a focus area for today, because we cannot cover everything. So I'm planning to demonstrate some of these computer added text analysis, CAT kata. In, in between, when I'm actually waiting for the survey result, you can actually Google it, CATA, CATA computer added text analysis. And the discussions will be robust and rigorous after that. Okay, so that's, let's see how many responses are here. Not much is still waiting. Hopefully some of you contribute here so that we have the idea what kind of audience we have here. Waiting a few minutes more still. Perhaps you are you are at the end of the uh, ticking up, slowly coming up maybe. Okay. Catch up with this. If it is not coming over time, the the time it is actually coming, I know. That would have been fabulous to juxtaposition my presentation with your need. If not, I'll go with the flow if you don't want to actually disclose your research points here. All right. Hopefully it will populate in a couple of minutes. All right. So without further ado, then I will go with my planned way. So perhaps it is just my thinking, which might not come true, but if it comes true, I'm lucky enough. And then also you are also in a good shape when you leave the presentations uh, afterwards. And this is the agenda I thought. First of all, what is machine learning? What is artificial intelligence? And what is natural language processing? A very brief introduction on the definition level. We don't want to actually understand more than that at this point. But if you really get into this, you can you know, do some kind of online courses in Coursera or any other, other uh, platform to just to catch up the technology if you don't have knowledge about that. So now I'm just defining that and in introducing the concept. And these are all of these techniques, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence, natural language processing, text mining, uh, data mining, those kind of things are actually used in this process. And uh, researchers have actually contributed one free website. There are commercial softwares. I don't use commercial softwares. But this uh, kata uh, is endorsed by the academicians, and then I use this kata free website, which I will demonstrate you. And there I use computer added text analysis software made by them, download them, and there are ready made uh, dictionaries made by the whole uh, research community on the research community on that. I'll use that for my purpose also. But of course, we can create and contribute to the dictionaries for that as well. And quickly, of course, uh, I don't have to boast out and talk anything about paradigms, but I will be just trying to understand in which paradigms you all belong to, research paradigms. And then I'll be arguing for, for triangulation, because if you are qualitative, predominantly qualitative researchers, perhaps triangulating with quantitative research would give some value and meaning to the research. And then uh, I will illustrate uh, one case uh, example that I have done in my uh, ABS level four journal, this business level journals, highest ranking journal 
Uh, that actually published one of my papers on, on this method. And I will illustrate an application on that side. Uh, please remember, this is not from anthropology. This is from business and economics, but the, the process, the flow, you can easily uh, replicate. Is that okay? Or do you have different expectation? I assume silence means I can continue, right? I'll do it, I'll do it. All right. So we have 10 people. And chat box is open. If you have anything to say, I will look at it here at some point. Let's see if it doesn't disturb me. <clears throat> First of all, uh, in machine learning, there are um, different approaches. One is supervised learning. Another one is um, inside the supervised learning, you can think um, like regression model that predicts numerical values. So if you know basics of regression, quantitative studies, that is the part you have to briefly uh, recap. And in uh, another uh, problem, uh, that is classification problem. That means it has predicting, it predicts categorical values, that means levels. So two kinds of uh, regression-based or classification-based supervised learning can be built. That is one angle in uh, machine learning, okay? And then the data is given to you, but you do not supervise. On Un unsupervised learning, in that phase, you do not supervise. So you have then clustering of the data, group data according to distance, and then associate them, find frequent co-occurrences. So that way you have actually built a pattern out of the data without supervising. The machine itself categorizes the data, um, makes the mapping and makes sense of all those patterns. And then this will have a link product predict prediction and discover relationship in the data. And then data reduction can be done also by project features to fewer features also. And then another one is reinforcement learning. I'm not going to in cold go detail on that because this cata is not using that part only the first two parts. And another one is when you have the text corpus in your analysis, the text analysis, that you have natural language processing. And that is also evolving pretty fast due to the uh, algorithms and artificial intelligence all applied into the one package. So it has capacity to actually figure out the meanings of the phrases, meanings of the synonyms, one after another, antonyms, and make sense of all of those uh, phrases and then sentences and then reposition and then also do multiple trainings of the samples before it can give you the right meaning. Okay. But then uh, there was a question later raised. Of course, you have the computer text analysis as a number coming out of that. You have the regression model, you have a classification model, but that has a quality problem. And then in 2017, that has been solved by the researchers from the Stanford. And they have come up with how to minimize error shorts, how to do reliable estimates. And here are six ways they have actually done. I am not going to detail on this. I just want to highlight that the quality problem, the reliability problem, the validity problem has been solved by the researchers on this domain beyond survey-based research. All right. <clears throat> so quickly, just not to make it very monologue, I would like to understand some of your research questions in the chat box. Please post some of your chat question, research questions, one or two. I don't need everybody's, but just start with what kind of research question actually you are doing it. Okay. Anyone can contribute to one research, one or two research questions in the chat box. So that I can relate what is burning in your head and try to help you find the data source for that. Anyone? A research question that you are studying now. Waiting, waiting. Okay, hopefully this is coming. If not, let's see the references. Okay, three references here. 
So I'm switching to the responses if you are not answering the chat box, because at least it gives you some data points to talk. Because I'm not that much qualitative, I'm more quantitative, not much oriented. So perhaps that's the paradigm difference. But still, I respect the qualitative research highly because it gives meaning. Now, there is Prati question, a very, very, very interesting uh, research question. What inspired individual actors to open schools in Nepal during 1950s in that condition? Oh my God, that's pretty robust question and very challenging situation of the history. Now, you are in timeline in 1950s. So now if you really want to study this question from computer add a text analysis, or like since 1950s to the some timeline, or maybe 1940s to 1950s or 60s to 70s, you can do that provided you can document, you can document some of those, uh, you can get the documents or historical documents in text files that can actually uh, answer that particular question. It does not help you into creating a document, but it will help you to actually analyze the document once you have got the document in text files. Now, for example, if Pratyushar got some of these magazines uh, interviews of the founders of like you know, some, some actors or the principals or the political leaders or civil society leaders who are actually inspiring in that time also to open schools, right? If you get those kind of documents, that will be your raw material to be fed into the computer system. I mean, after that, it, it does, if you give it supervised learning, it does supervised learning. If you give it the, 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 the order to do unsupervised learning, it does unsupervised learning. So either way, there is influence of the researcher and there is no influence of the researcher as well. Okay, so that, that way you can solve this problem from computer added text analysis. Thank you, sir, for, uh, your, for your great input on that. But now if you really want to extend this study from 1950s over like decades after decades or years after years, then you have to build the corpus of text files over the years exactly. Like uh, all the decades exactly, whichever time frame or events you want to study. If you really want to uh, base it with the democratic movements since the history, then you can do that exactly on those event history also, and then collect data on that event history only, and then map over time in you know, a longitudinal data. And over the longitudinal study, you can think how the patterns have evolved and what kind of quality of life or the uh, quality from the, the quality of society or productivity or whatever parameters you want to get from secondary files, you can get it. From the databases and then do the regression models also. That is that is the beauty of text files. There are three responses. Let me quickly uh, grasp these responses and then I'll come back to the uh, flow. So of course there are almost 10, 10 party, 12 participants and only three responses. So this is not representative at all but still if I had 30 students I could have uh, participants I would have better insights. Okay. So we have uh, non-profits and then also we have somebody from um, enterprises, entrepreneur and non-profits and then others, okay? Mostly male dominated so far, choice of methods. That is somebody quantitative also, that would be interesting conversation. And then qualitative and mixed also. Ratio is mixed, 33% each. So that's, that makes our discussion later on very interesting. For data collection, um, almost ethnographic, almost all, pretty interesting. Uh, others are minor, like secondary data, somebody like maybe the quantitative person would like to have secondary data. And the purpose of education, oh, that's pretty interesting. 66.7% thinks to develop self-learning capabilities. Amazing. This is the audience, amazing audience so far I have met. And then uh, methodology. Yes, everybody is a researcher, professional researcher. Panel regression, only 33%. That's obvious because another population is qual. In vivo, no, that's not a good sign. You are qual predominantly, but you don't know the NB types or other types of softwares. 
plagiarism, somebody doesn't know still. That's a sad story of the story. And then uh, <clears throat> on the discussions and learnings, you have preferred approach of group discussions, okay? That's very interesting. This is different from the student circle that I have been teaching. They like this mixed method. That's a compare and contrast. Do you understand the case method? Yes, your aim ultimately to contribute to the society as a researcher, that's obvious. Current teaching methods, wherever we you go, mostly um, student centric. Yeah, that's yours. And CGPA, if you are a student, the few students and almost then have between 3 to 3.5, the intelligence is here, and professional behavior resembles, I'm going to be a job creator. Amazing, a producer, congratulations. Everybody is a job creator here. And I enjoy freedom, but that has a contradiction on the above question. And all of these text data we can mine whenever we have time. And then parental origin, I just wanted to trace. And some of you have entrepreneurial, some of you have government service, and some of you have something research. All right. So now I got the idea where you are, what kind of resources you are. If you had given all of your information, you would have been more robust. But still, I know what I need to pitch. Hopefully, I don't have disappointments. So I finished that discussion on research questions. We can continue if somebody posted another research question on the chat box, how I can help them on the data. But otherwise, Pratish Chaur actually helped to interact that way. Thank you, sir. And then on the research method, predominantly quantitative, qualitative, I don't have to actually ask that question anyway. I saw that data already. And then uh, now the point is how to, how to actually convince you or like make a point that why quantitative research is needed in ethnographic studies also, in um, anthropology also. Okay, so that's kind of the target and the challenge for me and everybody else on the team. I'm not going to ask you to Google because you are professional researchers. If you really want to familiarize with my case, and later on you can download my Kenny 2017 from the scholar for the readings. That's my note for you. I'm not going to do this paper, but I'm going to do my paper on, on, on what I have done on the real research later. And if you really want to feel whether other anthropologists have done uh, similar research, data-based research or not, you can use Google search in the morning I did and I didn't find much. So this is a little bit challenging to sell, but on the other hand, this is the frontier of research that sooner or later actually touched the field. And I just want to understand, uh, I think, from my understanding of your paradigms, you fall into the more interpret interpretive paradigms on Bordel and Morgan. I belong mostly on objectivism, that means functionalist paradigm. And then the race of radical structuralist and radical humanist are not in this audience. Is that correct? Or I have a false impression? Is anybody on this radical uh, side? radical humanist paradigm or radical structuralist paradigm. I need to actually tailor the presentation accordingly if you are here. But so far, my plan is to cover these two boxes on the lower hand. Feedback? You can speak up also, I think. What is the approach? I don't know. Hand raise. Is anybody on the upper paradigms? Let's go to the hand raise. That might be easier to solve this issue. So the hand is gone. No, sir. That means the mathil low paradigm no more. So the radical paradigm no more. The reason is something. I have my objective, objective side no more. Functionalist paradigm no more. Or that means I mean constructive no more. I know. Interpretive no more. Sayad, I'm ro. Pratyush saw the construction of Bani ka construction, construction, construction. You construction, construction. You wish for Bani to work. Right, Pratyush sir. Ali, Ali, oh. Azir. So, 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 Anyway, 
I continue, continue. Then we can discuss later. All right, so my assumption is that, okay, so my paradigm will be focusing on interpretive and functionalist. That's kind of the disclaimer. But if you need to get into radical side, then there we have to have a different conversation on different setting. That's the disclaimer on this slide, okay? And let's go further. And these are my references. I initiated from the guy on uh, Borel and Morgan's resources. That's kind of sociology, sociological paradigms and organizational analysis. That was my starting point. And then I have gone all of those for preparations. And then objective versus subjective, that's what I started. And nomothetic and ideogra uh, ideographic, that's another reverse, uh, domain that we have juxtaposition and amic versus etic, like an insider versus outsider perspective. And all the Luthans and Davies and More and uh, Luthans, all of those also see, you can see those also for your references. So now, quantitative research can be survey methods, laboratory, normal formal methods, numerical methods, blah, blah, you know all of these. I don't want to get into that, you know it. And qualitative might be, different than that paradigm completely as we saw from Borland and Morgans. So qualitative research can be characterized as the attempt to obtain, obtain an in-depth understanding of the meanings and definitions of the situation that you know, presented by informants, rather than the production of a quantitative measurement of their characteristics or behavior. So you are on the source itself. You are not the interpretation of that. That's the beauty of qualitative research. That's why I'm interested to get into this domain. Despite the being, despite being working for a long time on my own paradigm of uh, functional functionalist paradigm, and any kind of research that pro produces findings not arrived yet by means of statistical procedures or other means of quantification, that's what we understood as the beauty of your contribution. Okay, but the point now I'm making is, can I quantify qualitative data? and then make sense of it. That's kind of the latest move now. That's where I'm arguing for triangulation. So far, ethnographers have been triangulating the data with field notes, interviews, and site documents. But now, if you have the chance to actually do the triangulation with quantitative analysis also, perhaps your robustness goes higher and higher. That's where the point for debate for today in the, after the session. And except producer, I would be happy to know some data points, but I don't want to spend time on this on the publication side. But my take is that we have to focus on the upper hand of the research design, not on the lower hand. So now I'm focusing on this side and changing the design on the data collection, on the analysis part. Uh, from the traditional perspective, okay? Let's skip that one, and then let's get to the further discussion on my, my CATA method, okay? I'm switching to the CATA quickly, and then uh, I'm now I know what is expected, so after that, we're gonna have a discussion. What is CATA? So this is the website I would like to introduce. I can post the, this link into your chat box already so that you can also see on your own, own pace at your, at your point. Let me check if I have the chat box here. It's not coming now. Anyway, I'll do that. This is cardiscanner.net, if you need to remember. And if you go here, there's a brief introduction. It's still under construction. And it has text file cleaning software. It has inductive word list generation software. And it has dictionary-based computer-added text analysis. And by downloading for Windows, it is available so far, not in Mac, but this can be very, very powerful for your purpose. Just download that and start from the download button also. And then here you can easily utilize the resources. You can download from here. And then also there are dictionary templates if you want to make the templates download and build the dictionaries. And there's a manual if you really want to understand how it works. And then on the dictionary side, so far, the curated, developed, and cited and published dictionaries are here. In economic and financial uh, oriented, financially oriented text are here. 
ethics, morals, and values oriented tech star here, strategic entrepreneurship, innovation oriented tech star here, positive and negative emotion, tone, and psychological text, and so on and so forth. And this is going to be populated by people like you and me. Whenever we have a new dictionary, we publish here and then contribute here. That way it is going to be an evolving document. And it was, I think it started by Stanford and then now it is with Professor McKinney from Western, Case Western, I think. So they are actually pushing this further. And this is the this is the dictionary that already exists that you can use. Just download it, use in the machine you know, uh, in your text, and then count the numbers for your regression or may, making any pattern or anything else. That's kind of the dictionary side. And then if you have fact, you have also the, here you can see some of the questions. Is there a CAT scanner available for Macintosh? Not yet. How do I download dictionaries into CAT scanner? Just go to the download button and it goes to your and, and drive and download the site. And then you have to pull that into your CAT scanner folder later for your analysis. And so on and so forth. Five, 10 questions you can read and you will be pretty safe on that analysis. And then if you have any burning questions, don't populate these resource contributors, a lot of uh, questions and like heavy questions, but they will answer us over a week time. So if you have a concern, or post your concerns here and they will actually provide you with the answer. And beyond that, there are the posts, right? And here's the professor now in uh, Indiana University, sorry. Pro Assistant Professor of Management and Entrepreneurship at Indiana University, Aaron F. McKinney. So that, that's kind of um, the resource and the person you can read from his own articles and like uh, publications also, he has published in this domain heavily and then uh, contact that I already showed you, all right? So for, without further ado, I would like to go to my scholar and then actually spend some time. How much time I have now? 10 minutes more? Azur, uh, 10, 15 yes. minutes, so come, no? So let's go to my scholar and, uh, and see if it's not Hopefully it finds me. What is this? No, that has not been populated. Latest has not been populated. So I have to go to stakeholder capitalism. And then uh, this is the one, this is my latest contribution in 2022 in business, business strategy and environment. It's freely available PDF, open source for anybody's um, use. And the PDF is also can, can also can be downloaded very easily. Now I'm going here on the on the person itself. Uh, hopefully it does not crash, or I have to open the PDF. That might be easier. Or it's opening. All right. <clears throat> First of all, let's understand the research question, and then try to map whether my data fits into that research question or not. First of all, there is a notion of resource-based view. I assume and this is in economics, very popular in management, also very popular. And then stakeholder capitalism is a common phenomenon, not only in economics and in our domain, but also in other domains, also like in political science and everywhere. And in my ecology, sociology, and governance, these paradigms are combined here, and then also sustainable competitive advantage for the farms. And the argument is that the firms embeddedness into ecology, society, and governance, not the vice versa. What has been the field, when the, what has been the traditional uh, cellulose value maximization approach uh, is that we assumed, we assumed uh, actually form is the supreme uh, agent, agency, and the rest must be actually satisfying their cause, their, their concern of making profit. Of course, profit maximization is to be there, to be, must be there, but we need to respect the society, we need, we need to respect the ecology and we need to have the proper governance. So that, that is the angle I posed a question like, is the form embedded into ecology, society or governance or vice versa? That's the research question. And what is the objective of the form? Is the objective of the form to satisfy the shareholders only or they have a responsibility for the stakeholders as well? That was the starting point. Then, now I wanted to study 
uh, for a long period of time. I didn't want to do a cross-sectional study like one-time survey. Perhaps I go to a company and a CEO, like maybe hundreds of them, and then collect data from them and then do the cross-sectional study and then be satisfied with that. I didn't settle on that. I said, I want to do a longitudinal study. But then if I go for longitudinal study or panel data study for a long time, then how can I actually get the, the CEOs and then also the managers from the firms and the companies, they, they used to work there like maybe 20 years back. They have changed the position or they have left the company and the memory is fading and retro, retrospective bias is also happening. So, so and so forth. So that's the reason I chose this method and I didn't know how to actually then get the quantitative data for that. Of course, for qualitative data, at least I can have a deep interview from the, some of the case companies, but for the quality quantitative, I cannot have that possibilities. And then what I did was I collected annual reports for the publicly listed companies from the, NARDA, uh, from the New, York, New York New York Stock Exchange no, NASDAQ, I think, sorry, New York, New York, NASDAQ, yeah, I, either of them, yeah. And then for the, all the manufacturing companies in the US, we downloaded annual reports into text files. And in downloading all of those, what we have done, we have built annual corpus of the text files for the, each year. And that becomes our machine learning, uh, machine learning proposition, that means, that the raw data we fed into the CADA model that I showed you prefer in the website, like I told you which website I used. In that model, I, in, I uploaded all of those text files. Then I cleaned the PDF and the text, text files with all unneeded or extra uh, species and then characters and everything that is not needed for the analysis. And let's go to the method here. Okay, let's, this is SEC, yeah. SEC database, Security Exchange Commission database. From there, we got uh, 1,208 companies with 37,690 filings. These large data sets could be used, and then those text files could be actually uploaded into the software. And we use all um, dictionaries for mining the data, similarities, and everything that is possible. And based on that, we built a dictionary for ESG, ecology, sociology, and then governance. If a company is having a discourse in annual reports about their environmental, social, and governance con uh, impact over the time period, in the early phases, there were, not, there were not many, but lately it is becoming very, very heavy discourse. Based on that discourse, the count of the numbers, based on natural language processing, artificial intelligence, machine learning and also uh, related text mining software, we could actually get that number. That number then regressed in panel regression with the company performance. That way I was able to build the timeline from 1992 to 2019, 27 years of data sets altogether. This is impossible if we go for survey or even in longitudinal uh, interviews data or ethnographic data if i have been uh, working and observing for 27 years for a company getting that meaning is very very difficult what i found by this method is that when i have sustained competitive advantage as my approach of my company then my esg footprint must be minimized and Currently, currently, how much the US companies are actually using the multiple? The multiple of impact inequality is almost 4.75. The current ESG, the mean ratio is this much. Current profit to ESG ratio is this much. And then to survive, you need to have this equal to one only equal to that always. This is the only providing capacity of the mother earth, the society and the governance mechanism. But the companies are actually using this many, this times 4.75 multiple times, the resources, the capacity, the mother earth, the biosphere 
the ozone layer is providing for survival. If we continue by using this level of multiples of the over, overconsumption of the environment and social cause, and then also the, also the governance mechanism, then this is not going to be sustainable. So this is the alarm. And then also in macroeconomics, Parthadas Gupta has done Parthadas Gupta review. This is a form label. Uh, that was published by UK Treasury. And this is published by my university. And now it is getting a uh, kind of interest from the policymakers. So on the resource base view, what I concluded afterwards on the analysis is that I have created one attribute, new attribute I've contributed, that is ESG friendly nature of the resource. If you have a valuable resource, real resource, an inimitable resource, non-substitutable resource, or organized resource, that's fine. But if you do not respect the ESG friendliness, perhaps your optimum ecological footprint will not be there. And perhaps that will not have economic, societal, and ecological impact that is needed for the society, societal survival. That was my contribution for the discourse on that topic. That was possible because of the computer added text analysis. All right, and this looks like this output. What happened was, if I plot profit per employee as my sustainable competitive advantage uh, um, ratio, then ESC footprint per employee first goes a little bit down in a concave shape and then skyrockets. That means if my profit per employee goes and goes higher and higher, my footprint also goes in a very, very exponential way high. So I need to actually work somewhere in the middle band somewhere here in the middle band so that I do not be greedy for profit only, but I respect the ecological footprint as well. So that was the conclusion. Of course, it looks like obvious at the hindsight, but when I initiated, I didn't know that. And this is the panel regression system GMM model that I ran. ran. Of course, this is not your scope in your journal, like the Sinash journal that you publish. You do not entertain so far the economics, uh, econometric models. But if somebody does qualitative study and then would like to uh, juxtaposition or substantiate or like triangulate with the, triangle, the, the other methods, perhaps there is a room for publication as well. If the editors would like to open the box, I would be happy to contribute one of the papers together with some of you. That might also uh, lead the way. All right. That way, I conclude by saying, so if I go back to my slides I initiated, there are so many slides for discussions if there will be questions, but now I want to keep the floor for the intelligence. Um, so here is the, the idea, it was the idea. So I introduced machine learning, AI, natural language processing, and all those data websites where you can get those things. Then I discussed quickly on paradigms and assuming, except Pratyushra, who has done construction construction which approach also in his latest contribution on uh, popular uh, public culture. Uh, others I assume on the other two paradigms and then ran through the presentation. And then my argumentation for this presentation was triangulation that we need to focus and then build robust valid valid studies, not only in one paradigm, but also mixing the paradigms. And then an illustration with my own research on paradigm that is objectivist. But of course, if I have a couple of cases now to substantiate this with your ethnographic studies, like for example, somebody studying, uh, somebody in the US manufacturing companies who have been working in a very high position and they know this phenomenon by their heart, then perhaps then illustrating the whole story on that on a long period of time would add well. That is the gap that I have spotted after my reviewers comments uh, from this top journal. All right, so that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the comment, the reverse comment drove me to search for producer. And then when I found producer, I approached like, well, perhaps this is the audience I need to actually have a conversation. Thank you very much. And then um, uh, I would like to take questions now. Yes. अब खुला चाल फल को समय बॉय को सा यो चाल फल इस समय में यार ले प्रश्न चिकित्सा और थोड़ा टिप बनियों रखना सकते हैं ना रे जैन को ऑप्शन प्रोवाइड करें रा आप आपने आवाज़ आपने रखना सकते हैं ना थोड़ा चैट बॉक्स में लिखे रा पनी यार ले प्रश्न चिकित्सा और थोड़ा टिप बनियों रखी सं तो रख
कृष्णजी धन्यवाद मेपाली में सोच्छ अब तज को प्रस्तुति तो शीर्षक तो तब आप छाने भाई हमी तैयार दिया हो अब तो शीर्षक में चाहे एंथ्रोपोलॉजी भब्द पर्या होना हूं तो म एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट होना म हिस्टोरियन पढ़े अब दुईटा डिशिप्लिन अलग नजिक नजिक प्लस धर लमो समयसम एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्टर को संगत कर मैं अब अभी मैं सोचे प्रश्न लगायत मैं संगत कर एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्टर अलग रिसर्च ध्यान में राखे सोने हो मशीन ने पढ़ सकने डेटा जेनरेट करने स्तर में वहाँ काम करना कि रुचि देखा भाषा कि चाहो काम तेरी कर अलिकति अलिकति नेपाल में काम कर लिंग्विस्टिक्स लिंग्विस्टिक्स लिंग्विस्टिक एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्टर यो तो काम गाई कोई सुन तर आप पढ़े छेन अ इतिहास संबंधी अब मेरे विधा में काम करने कति हमी तपाईले तो मशीन रीड कर मिलने कर कर्पस डेटा निकाली रहने किसिमें हमें काम करेन इस ठीक होगा कि अब मशीन रिडिंग मिट्स एंथ्रोपोलॉजी अथवा तेरी नबने कर मशीन रिड सम टाइप्स अफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी मात्र भन्न पर्ला है एटा तैंको स्किल्स रही जानूर मिलने अनालिशिश को डिलिमिटेशन होने अब अब इस भन न हिस्ट्री एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सोशियोलॉजी लगायत कति धेरे डिशिप्लिन में जहाँ चाहे डिशिप्लिन प्क्टिशनर्स को मेन काम चाहे मशीन रिडेबल डेटा जेनेट करने हो एकदम थोड़े एवं इंटरव्यू का आधार में अथवा एवं व्यक्ति को लाइफ में कंसनट्रेट भर पर क्रिटिकल ह्युमनिस्टिक स्कलरशिप प्रड्यूस करने किसिम को ओरिएटेशन भैया मानी तैंको टेक्निक खास काम लग् मैं लगे जो लग अलग कन्विन्स कर ल अब जैसे मैं मैं सुरू कर दाजू जैसे मैं पीएचडी सुरू कर सर्वे डिजाइन डिजाइन करें है अभी तो क्वालिटेटिवमें थी क्वालिटेटिव में थे तर क्वालिटेटिवमें भाई सर्वे जब ट्रेडिशनल मेथड भागना सब करने करने रिसर्च क्वेश्चन के थी भादा खेल आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड ओवर द पीरियड अफ टाइम अभी एवं टाइम विंडो में नएर ओवर पीरियड अफ टाइम लाइक ट्वेंटी सेवेन इयर्स यूएस ने कस्ट खाल मेनुफैक्चरिंग पॉलिसी बनाए अभी यूएस ने मेनुफैक्चरिंग में कस्ट खाल इन्वेस्टमेंट्स गयो अस को इंपैक्ट के भो इकोलॉजी में सोसाइटी में अल्सो गवर्नेंस में तो सब हेन खोजा खेल मैं कि भेटाएं भादा खेल एटलिस्ट अब बिजनेस वर्ल्ड में एनुअल रिपोर्ट्स फ्रीली एभाइलेबल होद अभी तो टेक्स्ट फाइल में कन्वर्ट कर गा है पीडिएफ भेटो टेक्स्ट फाइल कन्वर्ट कर सकता अभी पीडिएफ भेटेन कहीं अब एसिशी टेक्स्ट फाइलक कर्पस बनाई दिन था क्योंकि रिसर्चर्स इनपुट दिन था एसिशी टेक्स फाइल्स को सबमिशन्स मांगन था अभी अटोमेटिकली अलग प्रोग्रामिंग नहीं हमें एसिशी को डेटा पुल कर सकता आपको सफ्टवेयर में अभी हम अटोमेटिकली प्रोग्राम्स रन कर सकता अब तो ड्राइव से स्टैंडफोर्ड ने सुरू कर यहाँ आने लस वर्ष लग्ला तो स्टार्ट भैस अब एंथ्रोपोलॉजी में अथवा अरु फील्ड में आँच तो बिस्तार बिजनेस में आईसो एकाउंटिंग में आईसो इकोनॉमिक्स में आईसो इट इज नट गोइंग टू लिव अदर फील्ड्स लाइक सोशियोलॉजी एंड अदर अदर फील्ड्स अल्सो अवे एवं मेरे एसमसन तो अब हम रेडी होने कि नोने अथवा हम तो पास में जानी कि नजानी मेरे लाइफ टाइम में हो कि न होगा भाई प्रश्न से आपने तो अंत प्रश्न प्रश्न भो है दाई तर बियोन्ड दैट अब यदि हम मोडर्न ट्रेन में मोडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी में रोडर्न लिंग्विस्टिक जो सफ्टवेयर्स दिन सकने कैपेसिटी में विश्वास कर मचे को पर्सेप्सन भाग मानको को डिस्कोर्स में भग जो भर न न्यूज पेपर में डिस्कोर्स मैगजिन्स में डिस्कोर्स ते पे तब स्कूल्स और कलेज प्रोस्पेक्टस में डिस्कोर्स प्लस तब को पोलिटिकल पार्टीज को मेनिफेस्टो आप मेनिफेस्टो इलेक्शन आप इलेक्शन ओवर द इयर्स सब एनालाइसिश कर ओवर द पीरियड के भो तेल के कंट्रिब्यूशन लिया तो कस खोज चाहता रंगिट्यूजनल स्टडी करना चाहिए कजल लिंक खोजना चाहिए दिस इज समथिंग ब्यूटिफुल जस अल्जेन यूनिवर्सिटी में एट डिस्कोर्स के भादा खेल उ जी इलेक्शन मेनिफेस्टो भेमोक्रेटिक फिनलैंड में तो पूरे डिजिटाइज करें तो सब टेक्स्ट माइन करें तो डिस्कोर्स संगसंग पैटर्न्स रिकग्नाइज करें अं कह हमें हिस्टोरिकल मिस्टेक्स ग्यौं भर तेरह लेसन्स लिखे 
over the whole whole period of time, whole of 19 to 94, 6 was like so. Then the history like a judge got it. history, but I'm like a lesson, Lini, to put up any one. One old idea was I say public culture because they evolve by Rasa when he said to go to Molai, Manuel. Over the years, the band is annual. Digital data, but no, the online media, I say, pursue digital data, the pool on a sock loan, some money, post on a soxa, Kantipur on a soxa, I know, couldn't even have a Nagari cook, Nagari cook on a soxa, or data matter pool on a sock loan, two so, we have a pure article at Amlet and then I am topics. I have to topics and keywords on the machine. I have to do a keyword. I have to do a keyword. I have to do a particular discourse. I have to do a count. I have to do a count. I have to do a count. I Namaste. Um, Namaste. Well, Tommy Gonway, you visit me like in Noyan. Your machine learning you business management particular racer. Tommy could you just the Moily Catman Bissi with the School of Management, qualitative research, Padako, the reverse of you, 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 uh, one of the significant some oily of a molly realized body, you know. But I would say, Amica business from management could be that money. This much is much a mostly of a quantity research could body probably the top in lucky that quality to better quantity to their cost of lana suck in seven. You're a person of any racnovat, you mirror order of matter. Molly Zaza came where that's a quality to research the back is in a way. Do you currently have a business row? Your management research must say quality to research economic commons. Rotopinum one is to a key protest chill in Bonavas. So two level go to data generate Gonosokni, the capacity penny skill cookrabo or Kurabo. Our cookers in Molotopal Prussian case of an emily in vivo, a lit not a lacota de reverse of oil, Paila, Liliat, Alnats, Colicoti. Just to Nepali, I'm no Devnagari Lipi, I'm a progress of me. I know about this to my lekiko transcription or Ruko, say Cossary Bavan, it's the in vivo could have limited. Google Translate use There is no other tool. Google Translate could translation edit your English like proof your nuns of any. That is fine, you know. A one is in the Devnagari read the software that I haven't found. Two boy, and the era as a about just the more of a topinagi to the Sarada Kikis domain Rahnavato Moily Kamgota did it. So interpretivism, K paradigm, a bossa Kamgot as a laxomale. About Istoma say of a pity of a okay topical objectivism, theory of body lax, you got the heri. This may say research could rigor, the quality like a bonnet, there's a triangulation. Yes, yes, I'm good. I'm triangulation is always good. It's the bonona. There's also a list of qualitative study about as you're finding bound. Choosing quantitatively when validated body one is the soft robust boy. In the quantitative method of finding bed and robust finding boy and any other. Miss to some extent, I know it is sorry, your internet has it unstable way that. Um, like Malazo, I'll get it to delete town, you know, I shouldn't be saying a lot. Um, but I mean, I'll get to talk to him about that. It's all good to paradigm go conflict. I'm sorry, but I'm not a mirror concern. No, yeah, I know. Yes, sir, ma'am, ma'am, Buja, my daughter, paradigm, paradigm, mixed method, published on a garrons. I, I, I definitely count on that. 
But there are journals now emerging in pragmatic approach. In those journals, they, they value pragmatism. They do not value uh, this uh, mm. uh, paradigm in commissurability. Com 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 they do not mm. talk about paradigms. They say whether the research question has been actually answered properly and whether the research question demands both methods or not. I see. Okay. But if, you, if, you have, if you have an objective which has quantitative objective, you solve that with quantitative. And if you have another objective which needs more clarification of how and why, you solve that with qualitative approach. What's wrong with that? There's no, no, nothing wrong if you have the right question. But if you have a quantitative question and then you use the wrong method, <laughs> I mean, perhaps then the paradigm issues emerge, you know. Mm, okay. At least that's my observation. I mean, mm. Anybody else? Oh, would like to listen more, uh, maybe perhaps in another forum. That's fine. We can have a, a cup of tea together also. I'm in Kathmandu already. So that's not a problem. Um, I teach at the MP Let's uh, sometimes and now in TU and then uh, sometimes to KU also. So perhaps there is a meeting point. Um, despite the fact it looks like new, my honest request to the journal editors, uh, like uh, Pratyush Daya and others, is to consider this frontier of research as a potential uh, publication um, uh, opportunity also. Uh, if that becomes a priority, uh, please let us uh, let me know. Also, I would be happy to contribute at least one, and that might be uh, my my call for request. Otherwise, uh, I would like to thank you for this opportunity and thank you very much. भन्दे आजको हाम्रो कार्यक्रम यही सकिएको जानकारी गराउन चाहन्छु सबैलाई नमस्ते धन्यवाद